Hey everyone, my name is Valentino and I'm finally back. I know it's literally been forever. I can't believe I went on another month long hiatus, but just to be clear, I have been posting on OnlyFans, Patreon, TikTok, my Instagram stories for the most part. Um, I just want to take this channel in a different direction, um, a different style of content per se. Don't worry, I will continue to do all the types of videos that you guys have always loved up, but I want to sprinkle in something a little bit different, something not new to me, but new to you guys and a different type of content overall for this channel. But of course, I know you guys love underwear content. So today we're going to do an underwear video, but a different type of underwear video. So yesterday I was on Instagram and I saw this photo, right? And I just knew by looking at the photo that the comment section was about to go off. Like, I just knew it. <laughs> and after scrolling through those comments, I'm like, some people really can only see through a very narrow perspective. Like some people just are automatically attacked, not even for themselves, because I looked at some of the pictures and some of the people defending the post weren't even big themselves. But it was just, you either can't see a different perspective or you are asserting the fact that you're there for somebody else that could possibly be attacked or feel offended. I'm just like, this is crazy. What is this world coming to? Like everybody is just offended for no reason. Or I guess maybe somebody can look at this photo and be triggered, but I had a different experience. I mean, first of all, looking at the photo, my body type isn't even in there. It's just uh, muscular guys don't exist. And there we are being left out again. I, I, I just feel like muscular guys are not even a part of the thought process when creating clothing, whether it's pants or shirts, there is no consideration. I first looked at the photo and like I said, I was like, oh, my body type doesn't exist. But then I agreed with the post. Recently, I have been going more so to boxer briefs. I don't own any boxers. I just don't think they look good and I don't like the extra fabric just being everywhere. Just, I like things to be, you know, tucked to my body that way when I move, I'm not like getting something touching me later on. I don't know, I'm just weird, I guess. But I've been going to grab for boxer briefs so much more often ever since I started gaining more muscle. And the reason is because now my thighs rub together, especially at the top there, they're literally consistently rubbing together. And if I'm just wearing briefs or I'm just wearing trunks with no shorts and just walking around, depending on where I am, if it's dry, obviously I use a moisturizer, but the moisturizer is supposed to soak in. So you have to consistently do it so if you're waiting a little bit moisturizer has soaked in you start walking you feel a burning sensation like somebody is lighting a match in between your legs so it's definitely a struggle an issue something that you really don't have to think about when you're thin or very skinny and it's just interesting to me how people can look at a different perspective but maybe I'm biased because I agree with the post if I were if somebody were to ask me what types of underwear is more comfortable for a thinner person or a thicker person, I would say exactly the same. Although boxers, you know, either could wear boxers, obviously. But for briefs and trunks, I wouldn't recommend, especially for long-term use, for somebody thicker. Obviously you can put it on for like an hour or two, something sexy, a sexy moment, but literally wearing it all day isn't the best. Especially if you're wearing like sweatpants or something, it can really, really just be super uncomfortable. So comment down below what you guys think. Do you think it was fat phobic or do you think it was somebody authentically trying to create a post that will let somebody else know what style of underwear is most comfortable. Um, 
You know, I've realized over the past few days, I've been really achieving a new sense of clarity and perspective and really trying to see the best of people and of the world and not try to hold too much negativity, no matter how many negative experiences I have been experiencing over the past few years. I can't let that taint my entire perspective because that's the worst way to travel through life. So I'm just trying to have a different perspective and hopefully this video can help you not always think to attack mode or offended mode and maybe think further in just a different perspective and hopefully you won't feel too offended because everybody has a different perspective of life and what they experience or what they go through. So yeah, comment down below what you guys think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as the bell next to it. Make sure you're notified every time I post. I ordered a few things on Prime Day, so I'm gonna try those on over on Patreon. Make sure to sign up. I'll put it available on all the tiers. As we, you know, move forward, I will separate the tiers, but for the most part, all of the content is on all the tiers. Um, it's more so for support, and as I release more intimate things, I will close it off to the lower tiers. But yeah, comment down below what you want to see next, um, and I hope you're so surprised with the type of content that I'm going to start doing. But until next time, bye guys.